the last few weeks we've had patients come in who have no mask and no means to fashion one themselves. This is oncology. These people are fighting for their lives already before COVID started. The last thing they should have to worry about is a mask. Hi, Amanda Glenn here with the Denver Mask Task Force. We've been trying to process the magnitude of the situation and asking people to get in touch with hospitals and see what they needed. We have sewers making masks. We call them our stitch ninjas. Look at all these masks. We organize drivers who can pick up mask materials and deliver them to folks who are sewing. <laughs> You're welcome. We contact folks who have requested masks and if they for some reason can't come pick them up, then we coordinate a driver to drop them off to them. The first week, we collected about 300 masks. What did you bring for us today? <gasps> the second week, about 650. The third week, 1,600 masks. In four weeks, 7,100 masks. Woo because we have so many requests from every different walk of life. Every mask that comes in finds a home. My thought was let's protect the frontline folks who don't have PP. They're perfect. And I never even thought about what this was doing for the sewers. There's like this hidden magic. Thank you, Denver Mask Task Force. Lights people up. Woohoo! I'm so proud of myself that I'm actually making them. This fulfills me because I can't imagine doing anything else. It gives you something to do in a sense of purpose. So it feels really good to be able to give back to our everyday superheroes. These masks make these patients so much more comfortable for these hours long treatments. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. And thank you from our patients and from our entire staff because you've made a huge difference.